Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Imperial Calradia. Now, this was requested a very long time ago, and I do apologize for how long it takes me to make these special features, but I do have to check them out first and make sure that they are all running stably with my recording software. And, of course, I need to make sure that everything is working well in the game itself, too. So, let's go, shall we? Let's make a new character, and we will see... What is within this mod? I have tested it out quite a while ago, so I am doing this with a fresh pair of eyes, you could say. And as you see here, before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional Napoleonic society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character, or one who is not of noble birth. Yes. Very nice. So we will be a male here, just for the special feature. And we will choose all of the top options, I do believe. They are usually going to give us probably the best start to be able to show off the mod as fully as I would like. So we will just be going for everything above here. And, aha, this does appear to be a new option. A junior officer. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were given an officer's commission in a regiment, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your king and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the ways of command, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old soldiers' stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... personal revenge. Yes, become an adventurer. Okay, so this is the banner screen. It looks all very standard at the moment. I do believe that is it, yes. This is set in Calradia. So I do believe these banners will do just fine. We are going to be selecting something rather befitting to an officer. So what will that be? Hmm, I think this one is quite nice. Let's go for that. There we are. Now, seeing as this is the special feature, I am going to be just calling myself Reformist here. And we will continue from there. So let's see. We have fencing. So that is pretty nice. Instead of power strike, that is fencing. We have... Some marksmanship here, weapon master, what else do we have? Horse marksmanship. Hmm. There are firearms in this game, so I probably want to use guns. Do we not? We probably want to use guns. So let's see. We have a good amount of weapon master already. Hmm. What should we go for? I think we might just want to go for everything in intelligence. That does seem to be the way to go, because then we can get loads in Pathfinding. And I think Iron Flesh is going to be useful as well. What else do we want? Prisoner Management. And I think we might go for some Engineer or Surgery. No, Surgery will probably be better. So let's go for some Firearms Proficiency, and we'll continue onward. Now, as you see, we do start with a rather spiffing coat on, which is rather cool. Now, I am going to be randomizing... Ooh, he looks rather dapper. Goodness me, randomizing the first time? That never usually happens. Let's go with that. So, yes... As I stated, this is set in Calradia, so where are we going to start? Where haven't we started in any of our other series? Well, I think we've started everywhere, haven't we? We've started in the Rodox with Floris. We've started in the Saranid areas with Blood and Steel and Fantasy Calradia. And we've also started in the Kurgit Carnate for another Blood and Steel series. Hmm. I think we'll start in Swadia, actually. We'll start in Praven, because it's been such a long time since we have visited Swadia, and I think it would fit us quite well. So, let's continue onward. Oh my goodness, look at this. Such a dapper hat. Whoa, okay, that is impressive to say the least. Goodness me, I was not expecting something so incredible, but there it is. I know it's just a hat, but goodness me, that is a very cool hat. So let's see what we can do to this fellow here. Okay, that was reasonably easy. I was really expecting him to absolutely murder us right there with his 
Model 1778 Harlouse Combine? Goodness me. Well, there it is. Emergent of Praven, hello. Yes, take me into your bedroom. No, not in that way, but yes. We are now going to be, of course, doing this quest. 100 dinars for us. Now, let's take a look at the map. I'm not entirely sure if there are going to be any differences. Oh my! There is a difference. Look at that. What is this? The revolutionary state of Valencia. Ooh. Okay, and there's also someone down here as well. Kingdom of Castillo. Okay. Are there any others? I'm not sure whether this is a work in progress, but goodness me, at the moment it seems like the map is incredibly full. But wow. Okay, I think we might actually want to work for one of these factions. Looks pretty cool, I have to admit. We might go down to the Kingdom of Castillo, but we do need to make sure that they are, of course, working in the same sense as us. Okay, well, let's head on. Let's try and get a couple of Swedian units here. Oh my, six already? Okay. Well, so far so good. And there's some thieves. They didn't attack us? Huh. That's very strange. Okay. Well, I'm fine with that. <laughs> For the moment. Oh my! Fourteen? What is going on here? Okay, well, we're going to be doing some damage to these fellows. We have 23 units. This should be very easy. And oh, look at this! Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, they have muskets. That is always a good start. And we are the dapper-looking fellow on a very nice-looking horse with a top hat. How can you not like this? Well, if you're British, you probably do, because the top hat is, of course, a symbol of England. <laughs> well, kind of, I would say. Okay, so let's just see how well we do. Can I use ranks here? Ooh, yes, almost. It's a little bit in progress, I do believe. So, when are they going to be shooting? Any time? Any time now? Yes, aha! I see! Ooh, that is excellent! That is actually really good programming on the developer's part, I do believe. Not entirely sure whether that is due to the mod or whether it's due to something else, but as you saw there, it's actually really nice because usually, as you may know, the ranged units in Warband, and maybe even in the original Mountain Blade, they just fire off any random way, and there's no potential for those shots to actually hit, because they are so far away, unless the unit is so incredibly high level that there is no way that you wouldn't. But, these fellows have been coded, or at least told, not to shoot until the enemy enters efficient range. That is excellent. And as you see, we have already acquired a Redokian Defense Ministry Model 1760 musket. Ooh. Excellent. Wow. Well, we have no money whatsoever, so I'm going to be taking absolutely everything from here. 49 dinars we now have. How much are our wages? Only 22 weekly cost? Goodness me. Okay. Well. What can we do? I suppose we can head back to the merchant, but I am really wanting to explore more of these musket men's capabilities. Ah, okay, well, we will head into the tavern nevertheless, and, ooh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness, 1500 for these? Wow, they must be really good, okay. Well, let's, of course, complete the quest, and we will now learn where the hostages are held. I would like to do battle with some larger bandit parties if possible. Let's see if we can try and find some of those after we have completed this part of the quest. Yes, let's do this. We did bring steel, but we also brought gunpowder and various ammunition. Yes, okay, so this is where we get to test out our musket men once again. Let's hope that they still use the efficient firing that I like so much. We will see. So where are they coming from? They're coming from over here? Yes, there they are. Okay, so let's get our units here, I think. That would probably be the best plan. We can pepper them with musket balls as soon as they go over the hill here, hopefully. Good as me. We're doing quite a lot of damage with our own pistol as well. 
Okay. Come on, guys. Get in position. Okay, they are firing immediately. They do need to, I think. Okay, let's try to... Whoa! I was going to say, let's try for a drive-by shooting in some manners, but yes, goodness me. That was very efficient of our Swadian recruits right there. Well, goodness me. I am actually very impressed with this mod so far, and we haven't really even got into it that much, but there it is. Very nice indeed. We have learnt now where the hostages are being held, and we are going to be heading over to that area soon. Ah, it's all the way over there. Well, let's just go there in a roundabout way. What I'd like to do is try and find some larger bandit parties, but I would like to first, of course, sell some of these things so that we can get some money to level up our units. There we go. Okay, so we have seven. They can level up into Swadian National Guards, which have hats on. Excellent hats. And we're going to be taking a look at their skills. Wow. Okay. Nothing to write home about, but they do the job. They definitely do the job, that is for sure. And then they split off into Swadian Fusiliers of the Line, as well as Swadian Midlander Light Infantry. Well, I suppose if you want to continue making them use muskets, then you can always do that. But if you want some melee units, then that is also an option. Very nice indeed to see that. Okay, well, I suppose the best thing we can do is try to find some bandit parties here. I always used to see a huge amount of bandit parties. Aha! There we go. We have ten thieves. Let's do some damage. Oh, yeah. Let's try and get to the next level with our Swadian units. I think that would be a rather nice thing to do. And now, let's just see. Where do we want to go? I think we could probably go here. That seems like the best possible position. And we are also going to shoot a little bit ourselves. Let's see. Can I hit anyone from here? No. <laughs> ah, that's so unfortunate. Now our units are going to be absolutely massacring all of them, no doubt. Or not. Apparently not. No. Guys, help me! Oh, no! They have daggers, but it does a lot of damage. Yes! Oh! Ouch. That hurts. Okay. Well, at least we have the diplomacy mod working, so... I will not have to worry too much about us retreating from these fellows. Goodness me, I was not expecting them to do 209 damage to our horse. But there it is. We are okay, and we have taken out all of the thieves. Very nice to see that. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so now... Can I not capture these guys? Why can I not capture this thief right here? Oh. Well... I do believe that this is still a work in progress, so do bear that in mind, but I have no idea why we're not able to capture this guy. We do have some prisoner management. Hmm. Very strange. Okay, well, nevertheless, not too bad. We are going to be leveling up some more Swadian National Guards and heading on to the Kidnapper's Hideout. We will be rejuvenating ourselves a little bit before we head in, of course. Hmm, I think we probably want to head into our camp here. Now, after we have rejuvenated ourselves, I think we're probably going to take a look at some of the mod options here, because I'm pretty sure it uses many of the same sub-mods that other mods use, but I'm pretty sure that we are going to be surprised at how many options there actually are. So, I think that should be enough rejuvenation. Wow. We really have a very slow... <laughs> oh my, okay. So let's head into the camp here. We can go into here, and of course you see all of this. Wow, actually very nice. Let's change this to... Hmm, native AI with formations. I think that should be fine. And we'll disable companions complaints, just in case we come across some of those. And there we go. That is fine. Diplomacy preferences. You can of course see all of this. Disable lords returning from exile, currently enabled. And AI changes currently on low. Let's change that to currently high experimental. Yes. Oh, yes. And let's change this to high as well. Oh, my goodness. What have I done? <laughs> okay, so let's head in to the hideout with 34% HP. I have so much faith in our Swedian recruits and our Swedian National Guard units that I am just going to be heading in here. No problemo. Let's do it. 
And let's try to take that guy out over there as well, if we can. That would be rather nice. Come on. Let's do it. Ooh. I have a bad feeling that our proficiency is so low that we're not able to shoot from very far distances. Ah, yes. Okay, well, I'm just going to pull this out and see what we can do with it. Hopefully quite a lot of damage. Oh, wow. Okay. They have very low HP by the looks of things. The thieves? Well... I suppose that's very good for us. Hmm. I might want to reload this here, because this is going to get a little bit difficult. Ooh. Please don't get killed. Okay. Come on. Take him down. And now we do have... Wow, there's actually a guy over there as well. Oh, no. This might turn out to be bad. Oh my goodness. Please don't get shot. Please don't get shot. Okay. Maybe we can get around the side and flank them a little bit. That would be rather nice. No such luck there. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, the AI is sleeping a little bit. <laughs> yes, they're like, oh yes, that fellow, he can't hit for toffee. There's no way he'll be able to kill me. <laughs> That's apparently what he is attempting to convey with his actions right there. Well, oh yes, very nice. Okay, we were actually able to kill someone from more than 10 feet away, I suppose. That's pretty good. And now, ooh. Oh, really unlucky. Okay, we lost the Swedish National Guard, and now this guy's going to be shooting us. So let's try. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Okay, his reload time's too much. Let's take him down. Yeah, that's what you get. And one enemy remains. Here he is. Oh, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> that is not the enemy. Okay, that is the merchant's brother. Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can, otherwise I might kill you by mistake. Apparently. Hmm. Well, <laughs> we do get a chance to take a huge amount of muskets here, all worth 200 dinars. Very nice to see that. And then we'll be able to just take the rest here. Very nice indeed. Okay. So there it is. We have completed the quest. We can now head back to Praven and the Swedian Empire. Oh, yes. Wow. And I think after we have spoken to the merchant here. Nice. 200 dinars. Thank you very much. Am I interested in making some more? I suppose I am. Okay. I will lead your men. Even though I would like to move on to one of the new factions. I think that would be rather cool. But yes, I think we'll just have to do this first. And then we'll see what we can do. Hopefully that guy isn't tracking me. No, he isn't. Thank goodness for that. And take him down. Oh, yeah. Now, thankfully, most of the muskets are rather long reloading. So, I should, with my sword here, be able to do a pretty considerable amount of damage. Yes, charge him. Charge this fellow. We have our thrusting attack ready. Yes, that's what you get. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be too... Confident. Oh, ouch. I lowered my block just as he was swinging right there. That is unfortunate. Well, nevertheless, we do get our money, I do believe. Yes, there we are. I don't mind the blow in the good cause section. Yes, there we are. 100 dinars. Very nice. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to head on to the Kingdom of Castillo, I think. We're probably going to be heading down there. And we'll see what we can do. But first, we need to level up Reformist. What are we going to level up here? I think more in intelligence is probably going to be the way to go. And what else? Hmm. I think wound treatment would probably be really useful here at the moment. So we're just going to be doing that and then leveling up our proficiency in firearms. And then we're going to be heading over to the marketplace. And we'll sell as much as we can here. Ooh, very nice amount so far. There we go, 245 extra dinars, and I will be waiting here for some time, and when we return, we will be down in the lands of the Kingdom of Castillo, and we will take a look at some of their units, 
and ascertain whether they are worth it, shall we say. Okay, so as you see here, we have just arrived in the Kingdom of Castillo's territory. Now we are going to be heading to the nearby village, and we will see what we can do about recruiting... Whoa! Are you serious? Okay, ten Castilian National Guards already. National Guards already? Hmm, that is curious. What level are these fellows? Level 6. Okay, so they are a little bit worse than the Swadian Tier 2 units, but I suppose these guys start off with a little bit better equipment, as you may see here. They are starting off with some very nice muskets, I have to admit. Hmm. Wow. Okay. And what do these guys start with? I see. Relatively similar. So yes, I would say that the advantage of the Castilians here is the gear that they get much earlier than the Swadian units. Okay, well, that's rather cool. Now, I suppose we could recruit a couple more of them. There we are. Thank you. Now, I have not been to any of their towns just yet, but I would like to take a look around, see if there are any unique scenes, but do bear in mind that I do think this is a work in progress. As you may see by this invisible woman's chest area. Yes. <laughs> or torso, shall we say. Yes, as you see. You can see right through her. Yes. Okay, well, actually, we're going to be recruiting her, I think. 100 dinars, wow. That is very nice to see. Okay, so... Is there anyone up here? I don't believe so. No, there isn't. Okay, so I can take a walk around the streets, but I don't think this will be much different. No, it doesn't seem to be too different. But they have, of course reworked all of the townspeople and how they look. They have some very nice coats on, I have to admit. That does increase the atmosphere of the area quite nicely. But, of course, when you're being followed around by someone with invisible arms, that might go out the window a little bit. But, yes, as I say, I think it is in progress. It is a work in progress, so do bear that in mind. Now, we are going to be heading up to... The revolutionary state of Valencia, and I will see you there. Okay, so here we are, and we are very near the next village that we are going to be heading over to to recruit some units, and we have some Valencia rebels here. Aha, so this is different, because as you see, the Castilians and the Swadians, they both have musket-wearing and using units, and these fellows are different. They have... Lumber axes, and that is pretty much it. They do appear to be peasants, for the most part. It appears as though they are. They have alcohol bombs. Are you serious? Alcohol bombs? Goodness me, we need to see that in action. I do believe. Whoa, they are looking pretty nice. They have a huge amount of throwing skill. But they are only level 4. So... Let's try and get some action, shall we? Let's try and get them some action so we can see what they level up into. So, let's try to see whether we can find some bandits. If possible. Let's just recruit a couple more of them. Fifteen! Wow, okay, so yes, I do believe this mod does improve the amount of units that you get from villagers. That does seem to be the case. And that is very nice to see, because then you'll be able to have many... Many musket men, all in a line, all firing away at once, and have some very epic battles, no doubt. So, where are the bandits? We need the bandits. I think I'll probably head to the north so we can try and get some sea raiders. They do appear to be the best ones to be able to fight. But who knows whether there are any sea raiders in this mod. They may have been replaced by something a little more refined, perhaps. We will see. There's usually a huge amount of them over here. Aha, we do have some. Northern pirates. Aha, so they are now northern pirates instead of sea raiders. Let's see if we can catch them. Nope, it appears we lost the target. Unfortunate. Hmm. We're having some very bad luck here, I have to admit. Well, I suppose I can cut away here and we'll see what we can do about finding some. 
Okay, so thankfully enough, we were able to encounter some northern pirates. Unfortunately, it did take me quite a little bit of time to catch up to them. They are very fast, considering we do have 60 units in our company here. It is a lot more difficult to catch up to them than you would imagine. <laughs> yes, that is for sure. So, let's head on. Now, let's see what our units are capable of. Now, we do have 28 infantry. So we're just going to be telling those guys to charge in, because I'd like to see what they're capable of. They do have pitchforks, some of them, and some of them are using axes. Hmm, I think I'd prefer all of them to use axes if possible, because those axes are very, very powerful indeed. And I would really like to see some of those in action, but at the moment, not too sure, to be honest. Oh, that was unfortunate. Whoa, our Valencia rebels are... Okay, I suppose that is the problem with muskets, <laughs> partially. But as you may have seen just there, did you see that explosion just a little minute ago? They threw one of their alcohol bombs and it exploded in a cloud of smoke. So that's actually pretty cool, I have to admit. I would like to see that a little bit more, but... Hmm. We'll have to find more bandits. Oh, we do have some right here as well. I thought they had joined us in the fight, but as you see, they are just so incredibly quick. Hmm. We might not be able to catch these fellows. Oh, we were able to. Wonderful. Yes. There we go. So, we have another nine. We might be able to see our Valencia rebels use their alcohol bombs a little bit more efficiently this time. So, we are going to be telling them to stand here. And I'm going to shoot. Let's see if we hit someone from that far away. Never going to happen, is it? <laughs> Probably not. But who knows, we can try. We can try it. We might get lucky. Oh, lovely headshot on the horse there, but unfortunately nothing much else. Oh, there you are. Did you see that? That was the little flames and the smoke going off there. That was the alcohol bombs, I do believe. Oh, lovely. Another nice headshot right there. Oh, yes. That is great. No, don't take us out. They have some excellent weaponry. Oh, there it is. Wow, very nice close up on that explosion. That is the alcohol bomb going off. That is actually a very good idea, I think, to give infantry units that are quite lightly armored some ranged capability, for example, sieges and so forth. I mean, did you see that? They just used alcohol bombs there and they killed themselves with them, which is actually rather amusing, I have to admit. I can imagine that if you had a whole army full of Adlincha rebels and they decided, and by they I mean the enemy, they decided to just charge straight into your front lines, and then everyone started using alcohol bombs. You could just absolutely decimate your entire front line, which would be rather impressive, to say the least. I mean, I think it would be painful, but funny at the same time. So, yes, that is rather cool, I have to admit. So, yes, I will be ending this special feature off here. And if you are interested in Imperial Calradia, I will be leaving the download link in the description below this video. So by all means, if you would like to experience the grandiose nature of those alcohol bombs, then by all means, download it and have some fun. Oh yes. Castilian foot soldiers as well. We've just leveled up and we do have Fusiliers of the Line and Midlanders also leveled up. And some Swedian National Guards as well. And we do have these Valencia Partisans and Jaegers as well. But unfortunately, I don't have enough money. Hmm. That is unfortunate. However, Kjoror is very close to us. So we can head straight on in here. We can sell these for a very small profit indeed. And we can then level these guys up. There we go. So what do they do? Let's see. Aha, they are pikemen, by the looks of things. And, yes, they have many more throwing skill and pole arms than their counterparts. And the partisans, wait, partisan Jaegers? Yes, partisan Jaegers, they have the guns. So if you want to use another gun and, whoa, that is a 50 cal. That is a 50 caliber long gun. That is insane. Okay, well, I think you probably want to do that if you're going to play with the Valencian units. Then you probably want to go for a Valencia Partisan Jaeger, by the looks of things, because they do level up into two different units instead of just one, but they do have that long gun, which does seem mighty impressive, to say the least. So, I thank you for watching, and 
I will see you next time.